Okay, I just got dressed and I took some pictures and now I'm about to go to Bagatelle and take more pictures. Look at my gorgeous earrings that I got for my birthday. I'm wearing them with this swimsuit. I have on shorts right now so you can't see, but I'll show you when I get to the beach. I hope it looks beautiful. I hope there's not very much seaweed and stuff. I'm trying to like multitask. I'm trying to make videos. I'm trying to make TikTok videos on three different accounts um, and I'm trying to make YouTube videos and take pictures for Instagram so but yes I love the Airbnb so much I'm glad I got a Airbnb instead of hotel instead of a hotel so yeah but I got my bag I'm ready to go to the beach I'm just wearing like these shorts they literally don't match but um I'm gonna take them off when I get there so it's fine okay I'll see you when I get to the beach the turtles. So cute. I'm in the Grand Cenote. I feel so bad. I left my underwater thing at home. I feel so stupid. I'm so sorry. But I forgot it. I'm not really that good at swimming, so I'm a little scared. I have a life jacket on. Damn, I really do feel so dumb for not bringing my underwater thing. I'm so terribly sorry. I should have threw it in my freaking bag. Okay, I'm at the Grand Cenote. I just took my uh, life vest off. You're supposed to have one on, but I'm a bad girl. You see that turtle over there? There's a turtle. You might not be able to. I'll swim to the turtle. I don't know if you can see though. Okay, here is my outfit that I wore to the Grand Cenote. I'm kind of like all wet now. Um, but the Cenote is so fun. And it's very beautiful and there's lots of little baby turtles and there's lots of like birds. And the water is really nice. Let's see what's over here. It's actually been really hard to get videos and pictures here, so I'm sorry. Here, look at this little baby turtle. He's swimming. I swim with the turtles as well. He's so cute. He's like a red-eared slider. I have turtles at my mom's house. So cute. But yes, um, I'm having a very good time in Tulum. After this, I'm going to, I forget what the beach is called, like something Tonka. I think it's like a hotel beach club thing, but I really just want to go to the beach over there so I can get pictures for Instagram. Um, but yes, I hope this video isn't going to be too horrible and sporadic. I haven't recorded any food. I did throw up last night. I had a shrimp taco and it was really good and then I threw up last night. But that could have been for multiple reasons. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I will talk to y'all when there's something to record. Look at this big lizard. Oh my god, he looks terrifying. Look, he has a friend. Okay, I like can't really see what I'm recording. We don't have these in Texas.
here's how it's looking. Here's what's on the other side of these rocks. And there's like a bunch of people up there. This big rock. Thing. Hey, I'll show you the top of the rocks. Here is what the top of the rocks look like. Some beer cans. That's okay. And then, oh, I see someone on that rock way over there. How did they get there? They swam to that rock or something? I found a better area with left. catching some fish. I wonder what kind of fish they're catching. This is the Airbnb. It was very nice. Right now, I'm getting ready to go to the Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. And here's my outfit. Am I recording? Okay, yeah. There's my outfit. Very cute. I hope I get a good picture. a souvenir there's a lot of like souvenir stuff um, but I don't know what I want to I think I just want to buy a magnet <laughs> and then I really want to buy one of these uh, heart-shaped basket thingies so I hope I can get one we'll see all right here are these pillars sadly I don't have a tour guide so I can't tell you much I also snuck my camera in here. I wasn't supposed, you're supposed to like pay, I thought it was $3. It's fucking like $35 to use your camera. So I was like, um, no thank you. But I'm still using my camera because I'm a bad, bad girl. 
Okay, I want to find like where the skulls are, but we don't have a tour guide, so I guess I'll find it on my own. <laughs> if I had a tour guide, I would know what all of this stuff means. <sighs> or what it was for. But I took a picture. I really hope I got some good pictures. I don't really like the pictures I took at the beach yesterday. So I'm debating if after this I should run back to the beach and retake my pictures. Because I'm a perfectionist. Um, okay. Okay, I am here. I got me some souvenirs. I got a magnet and like a little spice grinder, um, but I still want my heart-shaped basket. But there, okay, I wish I had a tour guide because I'm like, okay, wait, what is that? Is that the Chichen Itza? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, but I'm looking for the skulls. I, I remembered, I'm looking for the skulls, so when I find them, I'll come back. Oh, I love these skull magnets. Should I get a skull magnet? I think I will. Because they look cool. I don't know which one to get though. I already got one magnet. Okay, I picked my magnet. I picked this little like bluish pink one. I don't know. There was another pink one over there with like a purple flower. But I don't know, the blue one just is sticking out to me. Um, I also got another magnet. But I'll show you in a little bit. No, thank you. <laughs> Ugh, I'm shy. Oh, they had these um, smoking pipes that were really cool. They were like carved into a skull. And they were made out of like quartz and stuff. I was going to get one of those, but I don't know. I don't really like smoking out of pipes. So I didn't get one. But I did think they were really cool. <laughs> oh, no, gracias. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel bad that I have to keep telling people, uh, no thank you. <laughs> I still have not found my skulls, but I'm in here. I think the skulls are close. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe they're around over here. They said we could yell. Should I scream? I'm scared. The tour guide is, I think it's because it echoes. Everyone's been clapping and screaming. Okay. It is very hot. I am sweating a lot. Oh my God, it's like, literally I could like wring it out. And it's like wet. Can you see it? It's like shiny. Okay. I hope the skulls are around this corner because it just got fucking like hotter. So, and I, I wish that I didn't have to stay here for so long because I'm ready to leave. Um, but the bus, the bus doesn't leave till freaking four o'clock and that's in four hours. What the hell am I supposed to do for four hours? Okay, I hope the skulls are on the other side. Okay, I have found the skulls. No one's even over here looking at them. Wow! Showers? Almost free. No, thank you. Saludos a la cámara. 
Oh. <laughs> he wanted to be on my camera. I thought he was getting in trouble for a second. Okay, look, here's the cells. I wonder what they mean or why they're here. Whenever I go back to my Airbnb, I'll Google it. And I forgot the name, but I'll put the name on the screen somewhere. Here, let me get my phone and I'll tell you the name. It is the Zampantali, I think is how you say it. But yes, very beautiful. They go all the way down there. Okay. Wish I had a little bit more information about them. But that's what you get for not getting a tour guide. Okay, I did go retake my pictures at the beach, so I hope they come out good. And then I also just stopped at the pharmacy and I got me some tretinoin. Yay! It was like $40. I kind of wanted it to be cheaper, but it's fine. Really happy I got it. It's more expensive in America and it makes your skin look very beautiful. So I'm happy that I got some. Um, she, she said I could buy Xanax too if I wanted it, but I declined or anything else that I wanted. Okay, now I am trying to find my way to downtown and I really want to try and possibly buy like a heart basket thingy, but I don't know if I'll be able to find one. I, I see them when I'm driving around in the taxis, but I don't ever stop or anything, so hopefully I find one. This is what I'm wearing. I want my shirts. Store. They have a really cool bottles. What is this? Oh, tequila. This one looks good. Okay. Let me just uh, record the drinks. And then I got more. Oh my god, do not get me started because I will buy this pipe right the fuck now. Okay, so I am getting ready to go back home to Dallas. I actually wish I could stay longer, but then also the other half of me does um, want to go home. So I can see my little baby puppy Manolo. I miss him so much. And the rover people, they send me pictures of him. I'm like, is there more light in here? The rover people, they send me pictures. Oh, shut up. That didn't help. But they send me pictures of him and he's having a good time, but I'm not gonna lie, he looks so sad. I feel like he thinks his mommy abandoned him or something. But look, I wanted to show you what I got real quick. Let me see. It's kind of bad lighting. I can show you when I get home. But I did find my heart-shaped basket. Isn't it adorable? It's beautiful. Look, you're supposed to do it like this. You, like, I'll hang them together or like this. Oh, so pretty. I could have just got these two, but I got a third one <laughs> that's smaller. Isn't that beautiful? I'll show you it when I get home. I have, and then there's like one more in there. But it's like literally from my balcony outside or something. But um, I don't know. They were just so pretty. I, I wanted one. Um, but yes. Uh, I can't wait to go home. I'm very happy and thankful that I got to come here. I'm going to go home and like watch a whole bunch of history and research about Tulum. I was watching some last night. I was watching stuff about like the exotic animals they have and then I was watching stuff about um like how like the waste management here is really bad and um how the new people who are coming and like building real estate are like kind of like messing up the land and they're messing up like the clean water and stuff like that. So yes that's kind of sad and like how the coral has like died and stuff. So that's not cool. So, 
I still had a really good time and it's very beautiful here um, and I, I hope to come back. I don't, I would come back to Tulum, but I'm also like, I would be down to like try somewhere else like Cozumel or um, there's a whole bunch of other places where I forget what it's called, but the one where the water's on both sides and then there's like the sand, hot hall box, I think I forgot what it's called, but okay, I'm going to get ready to go back home. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope my video isn't too all over the place. Um, yes. Okay. I'm at the Cancun airport. I hope y'all can hear me. It's really nice in this airport. Um, lots of shopping. But, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, when I was uh, going through the security at uh, when I left Texas, I didn't take my jacket off and the lady literally got so mad at me for not taking my jacket. She, I try, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, and then I went to go like zip my jacket down. She aggressively zipped my jacket back up and started like patting me down. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got really mad. She was like, next time, take your jacket off. And with the way she aggressively zipped my jacket back up, um, but yeah, okay, let's see what else. There's lots of tequila and stuff. I honestly, I'm sad that I'm leaving. I, at nighttime, I get really homesick. And then uh, in the morning, I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I wanna stay more, I wanna stay longer. But um, I had a really good time. I do want to come back um, and not be so lonely. I uh, wish I had someone that uh, I could, you know, do things with, but, uh, yeah. Ooh, should I buy some chocolate? Because um, they said Mexico is known for, they found the cacao bean. Um, I already got souvenirs, but let's look at these souvenirs. I bet these are more expensive. Everyone's looking at me record myself. I did like these dream catchers. I liked all the dream catchers that I saw. These little keychains are cute. 